G'day time, my Puzzleites, and welcome to Galaga. Another game I've played a bit uh, in the past. Not much, but we're gonna play it now and see what all the hubbub above is. So, so. First bonus for 2,000, 7,000, then every 7,000. You get a new ship. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Unfortunately for this one, wait, can I go from left to right? No. They can, I can't. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be another, oh, repeating, they shoot blast as they go through. Auto fire. Hey, it's the one thing they use in Smash Bros, and that's it for me. Shot. Oh, that's neat. Shots fired, shots hit, your hit ratio. All right. I like how you can either do fire normally left by pressing and also taking them out before they get into position and become more of a threat. Let's try some pressing the button first. Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot this shoot. Yeah, and adding in money does not give you more lives right off the bat. So the bees kind of aim for me. <sighs> Level three. Challenged. There are challenge stages. See, I've seen stuff. This, yeah, this one must be like where games got the things fly in and like do a certain motion thing that you see in a lot of games nowadays. Staple. Maybe. Number of hits, 20. Bonus, 20. Level four. Oh, and they attack immediately. They shoot, and then they can attack immediately. Ooh. I don't like that overly much. Oh! The bees are dangerous. As they come right from- They're scorpion things now. Oh. 
Ah. Fighter captured. Do I get a... I can destroy it. Level five. They're getting more aggressive. Oh. Yeah, I don't have much more to say about this one. Like, what else is there to say? <laughs> It's fun! I don't know much more. A lot of trivia behind the game, so I can't really talk about the trivia behind the game. No. Let's go for an auto fire thing this time. See how I fare. This concept does remind me of that other game. Um, I can't remember what it was. But that one also had you facing things at the... T Android? No. Okay, I can hit it. Um... But that one also had aliens at the top that would slowly come down. They'd get to one side of the screen, and they'd, cha they'd go forward like an inch, and they'd come down faster. Or, and then they'd go to the right side, hit the wall, go down an inch, go to the left side. Oh. Left side. Oh. Game over. Shots fired! Shots fired! This one I might end a lot quicker than Pac-Man. <laughs> I'll just go 20 minutes in. But yeah, holy crap, this one's tough. Uh, but yeah, that one it would come down. I think you had a shield. But that one was interesting and gave a... It was an introduction, an accidental introduction to uh, the game mechanic of as you go through, the game gets tougher. Ooh. Okay, I really need to get rid of the, the bees. The bees are terrible. Because as you defeated the, cre the, the aliens on stage, um... The game would get faster and faster until there was one left and it was really fast. So that introduced the concept of, like, steadily increasing difficulty and whatnot. Which is a stable today, where the game will slowly get harder as it goes on. And a lot of other video games, like Pac-Man, uh, was Pac-Man before or after this? Let's... I don't know. Um, but yeah, it gave the sense of okay, as the character or as the player plays the game, we make it slightly more difficult to give it a little bit of a challenge, which this game also uh, does. Because obviously, as it goes on, it goes uh, harder. I'll throw it here. Yeah. 
I do like how at the end it shows you how many f shots you fired and how many actually hit and your accuracy. Which, again, I wish I knew more about older arcade games. Because I want to say, like, oh, that w this must have been uh, when that was a thing. Because before they wouldn't really consider it. But with this game, now you have, like, Call of Duty games where at the end you'll see, like, oh, how many hits did you di get? What is your accuracy and whatnot? Which is revolutionary, and changes the game a bit. Yeah. And this one also just gets harder and harder, there is no true end. Stop doing the same thing over and over again. Get okay, the key coming from like here, right? Like here? Like here. There we go. Oof. Oh, the red ones come after me now. Sometimes. Oh! No, I've gotten to five before. Shots fired, number of hits, accuracy. Hit miss ratio. Yeah. Again, a classic game. A very classic arcade experience. Man, if you really understood how this game was. Ew! That should not have gotten me. I hate the bees. So this is the comeback. That was it. That was just the one. At least when they do hit you with their bodies, they take themselves out as well. Which is a nice little touch. Making it so, yeah, they take your life, but they also take their own. For the Emperor and all that. Oh! really tough. So there are safety zones for not getting hit, I say, as maybe they change later. We're going to the side will protect me a bit. Oh, come on. I shouldn't be taking out at level one anymore. There we go. Especially by rockets. Oh, oh, oh. Come 
Come on. There we go. Challenge stage. You could really, like, know where they're gonna hit and get them before they get you. Yes. Oh. Huh. Get rid of the pesky bees. Game over. Okay. That's fine, I guess. You could memorize how they come out and really put a stop to a lot of them, which I like. <sighs> Again, I wish I knew better history of this game and what games came before it to know what of this is really revolutionary and how much of it is just like, yeah, other people did it. So they decide to do it too. Cause like I don't know if uh there'll be snow, but have a good bunch here. Challenge mode. Five hits. Bonus of 35. Yeah, this might be my last attempt. Because as it goes, as much as I like these games, there's just not a lot to talk about or do. Like, it's just basically me being silent, trying, oh, to die. Ooh, we gotta level up for once. to level five with more than just one life and oh, that's right the, the red ones now do their bs sometimes and the bees still do their bs oh the bees mutate some of them Okay. Yeah. Uh, short one. Hey, I'm number one, though. Dang it. 
Uh, press too soon. Albert Whiskers. Hey, that's the way to end this, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to do the 30 minutes for each of these arcade ones I do today. But, again, there's just not much to say, not much to talk about. You see what you see. There might be more, like, evolutions later, but I don't have the patience to go through that. If people want, uh, let me know... Let me know and maybe I'll be back on my own, uh, do a whole video on some of these games, just trying to get as far as possible over the course of like an hour or two or whatnot. But for now, this is where I'm going to leave Galaga. So I will be back shortly for a quick review and then we'll go on to, I think Dig Dug will try next. Um, but yeah. Either way, thank you, my fellows, for watching. I will see you in the quick review or next anytime. See you soon.